Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of our little ranch let's play. So we left off the last episode having entered another competition so I don't think we can enter another one today. In the last episode we acquired a horse, Tulip, and Tulip's doing pretty well actually. In the last episode alone we managed to compete in three competitions. Her value as a horse has gone up by 950 simoleons. We also did a little bit more gardening, built a greenhouse, started growing our own grapes, and we've started nectar making as well. Although we are only at level one for nectar making, so today I think we're just going to focus on skill building for us and the horse. So seeing as Tulip can't actually do any more competitions today, why don't we just take her for a run? Because currently she's at level three for everything except endurance. So I think maybe let's just try and work on her endurance a little bit. Go for a run, an intense run maybe, an intense gallop and see if we can get that endurance to level three as well. I said in the last episode, I kind of want Tulip to be like an all-rounder. Go for an intense ride. So we're gonna try and compete in all of the beginner competitions. And then once we've done all of them, we'll make our way through intermediate as well. I think she'll get this skill pretty quickly. It's already pretty high up. There's something about Alyssa. She looks so classy on a horse, doesn't she? Endurance level three, okay, sweet. So Tulip now has level three for all skills, just in time to take us back. Oh, no, she wants to do another round. Okay, that's fine by me. You can run for as long as you like, Tulip. As long as you're building skills, that's fine by me. Ride home. She's getting pretty good at not bucking me off. I remember in the last episode, every time we mounted this horse, she kept bucking us off. Frog is still okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll just have a quick fruit salad for lunch take a shit, and then maybe we'll have a look and see what we have in our in our prairie grass. We might find another bottle of nectar, who knows? Harvest bell peppers, and I see we also have some grapes going here. Three grapes per bush, I think, so that'll be three bottles of nectar. I don't think I'm gonna make three bottles though, I'm gonna plant some more grapes so I can get myself an endless supply so that I never have to purchase grapes to make nectar only just acquired the cooking skill. That's what happens when you live off sandwiches, I guess. What do we find? A glow orb? That's just fruit, isn't it? I think it's just fruit. I also would ideally like to get to gardening level five because then I can plant some summer fruits. Oh, I think this one's ready to evolve. Spray the area for bugs, harvest all plantains. I think we might need to hire a gardener at some point, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Oh, this tree here needs weeding. Okay, I think I'm gonna plant a few more grape bushes. Okay, that's five bushes here. I don't think I'm gonna need any more than this because that's like eight bushes that are gonna give me grapes every day or every other day. I think that's plenty. How's Tulip's food looking? Oh, it looks okay. Maybe we'll refill it. Oh, refill with prairie grass, perfect. And then we should probably water all of these. We're almost at gardening level four. Oh, steaming turd on the ground, I'll take that. And then, okay, we're a bit tired, but it's sort of a weird time to be going to bed. So instead, I might just make a few bottles. Actually, I think I've only got enough for one. Yeah, I have enough grapes for one bottle of wine. But that's fine, I'll make more tomorrow. And I don't think I'm going to need these bananas, so I may as well sell them, or the plantain even. I don't need the glow orb, so I'll sell that. And I already have enough supply of peppers, so I'm going to sell them too. Everything's so peaceful. I can hear the birds singing. It feels so quiet. Relaxing. Well, Tulip's needs are pretty good, so I think when I finish this nectar, I might try and train her a little bit more. Is that another poor quality? Oh, normal quality! Oh, brilliant. Okay, well then in that case, I'm going to wake up Tulip. I'm going to buy myself a little wine cellar, or wine storage unit even. 300 simoleons for a wine rack. God. Okay, let's see if we can do some last minute tricks. Let's mount Tulip and then, what should we do? Maybe barrels? Oh, she is getting so tired. Just hold out for a few more hours. It's too early to go to bed. You're gonna have to wait till like 10 p.m. or something, Alyssa, okay? Just hold it together. Oh, horse riding level five. Okay, I think Tulip's had enough now. She's getting a bit uncomfortable, so we'll dismount. How are her needs doing? Poor fun, poor social. Well, I'm gonna let you go to bed, Alyssa, and then maybe we'll interact with Tulip in the morning. There we go. 
No idea where the horse has gone. Oh, she's sleeping over there. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. You're uncomfortable. And then we'll take a shower. You'll be right as rain. How's Tulip doing? Poor fun, poor social. Okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll ask Tulip to go and play. And then we'll take a shower. Do I have any harvester balls? I don't think so. I guess I could harvest some of this prairie grass and see if there's anything in there. Oh no, bills have been delivered. 423 simoleons. Oh, it feels like I'm just not getting anywhere in terms of saving money, but... Oh, I found alabaster. All right, well, she's got pretty low, low social, so I might just interact with her a little bit, and that will help with her temperament too. Okay, well, it's a new day. I think we can go enter ourselves into a competition. Ready, Tulip? Ready to razzle-dazzle? Kind of tempted to possibly get another horse just for breeding, you know? Okay, which one haven't we done yet? Oh, we haven't done endurance racing, so let's do that one today. And then that's all of the beginner competitions done. Good luck, Tulip. Rooting for you. Oh, the suspense. Oh, we got silver. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That means we have two gold, one bronze, and one silver trophy. Well done, Tulip. You know what I might do? I might try and use this time to get some horse training for Tulip. Let's go for endurance again. Okay, she's going in, and I think we're... What are we doing? Are we chatting with the locals? I think we should. I kind of want to work on our charisma. I want to be quite a charismatic sim. Yeah, she's outgoing and loves the outdoor. Oh, I know so much about Sienna. I feel like we're becoming firm friends. I would like to make a friend. At least one friend. Oh, Roberto doesn't like me. That This could be an opportunity. This could be my chance to try and get into a good place with Roberto as well. Support his facial hair. Oh, I think he's got... Okay, okay. Well, at least we're not in the in the red anymore. And Tulip is back from training. How did she get on with her endurance? Oh, she's halfway to level four. That's pretty good going. And her value has gone up. She's now worth over a thousand simoleons more than she was when we got her. Okay, well, probably we should head home. Oh, I think she's doing two rounds of training. Well, it didn't do anything the first time I clicked it, so maybe maybe I ended up accidentally just queuing two lots of training. Well, that's fine. That's fine. She could do with endurance training anyway, so I'll just let her get on with it. Oh no, what's happened to my plants? Why? We're, st we're still very much in summer. Oh, I don't know why this shit happens. These trees are dead as well. So that's kind of put an end to my income from gardening for a while. Oh, I've got some more grapes. Okay, perfect. So now I can make maybe three bottles of wine. Level four of the gardening skill. We can now talk to plants. Tulip is back. How did you get on, Tulip? Oh, 71% complete. Okay, that's good. Your needs are doing great, so you just, you just suit yourself. How many grapes did you harvest? Ten? Okay, well then we're going to clean the nectar maker and we're going to make three bottles of nectar. We've got to get some bottles aging in our wine rack. Make that 300 simoleons worth it, I guess. How was that? Oh, another poor quality. Fuck's sake, Alyssa. Pull your finger out. Come on. They're both poor quality bottles. Oh, dear. Well, I may as well just sell the poor quality ones. There's not really much point in aging them, I don't think. I can't see them being worth much more when they're shitty quality grapes. Shitty quality nectar. Another poor quality bottle. Great. Great. Oh, I could sell this alabaster. Oh, that's only 30 simoleons. Maybe we'll have some dinner. Work on your cooking skills a little bit. Let's go for vegetable dumplings. Just try not to set the house ablaze because we don't have a smoke detector. We've got to get you gaining some, some more skills, Alyssa. Nectar making, cooking, you know, basic life skills. It's not just the horse I would like to be an all-rounder. It's you too. I kind of plan on playing through, like, the whole of Alyssa's life. You know, when she becomes a parent, maybe, finds that special someone. So, you know, you should probably have, you know, enough cooking skills to make more than a slice of toast. And then maybe we'll just call it a night, go to bed. How's the horse? Oh, the horse has got low social. Okay, I think before we go to bed then, maybe we'll just come socialise a little bit. Oh, Tulip is feeling uncomfortable from loneliness. I feel like the temperament skill... Builds a lot slower than the other ones. Oh, but she's fine now. Okay, great. Well, let's just go to bed. Oh dear, that horse bed doesn't look too clean, does it? I think I might wake wake Tulip up and see if I can clean it. 
Tulip's in a pretty good mood. I think what we'll do once we clean the bed is we'll go do another competition. I think we can start trying out for our intermediate competitions now and I might just rescue another horse. Let's clean this bed. Come on, pick up your shovel. Yeah, I might just get another horse and see if I can like send them off for training using the community board. I might just pay to have the the newly adopted horse to get trained while we train up Tulip and then hopefully we could start getting into the routine of doing two competitions a day. Let's go. Oh, is the horse sad? Sympathy for Steed. Oh, let's try and get the horse in a good mood. Okay, the horse is happy. Oh shit, we need to pay our bills. Okay, hopefully we don't lose any money by entering this competition. So barrel racing, we're what, two points off? Two points off endurance. I mean, we're kind of just two points off of everything, aren't we? So let's just go from the top, I guess. Barrel racing. Hopefully we at least place somewhere because we can't really afford to just lose that, that entrance fee. Especially if I'm gonna pay the bills and adopt another horse. That would put me at like no money left. Oh, we got gold place. Oh, brilliant. So now we're ready to uh, participate in the expert one. I think that one might be a while off, but you know, good job. Good job, Tulip. How's that increased your value? Let's see. Oh, she's increased by like 350 simoleons. How does the horse have a handiness skill? Okay, well, what I might do is I'm gonna send Tulip training. We will send her temperament training, and then I will go and rescue the horse while she's off training. Let's see, what do we have? Rascal, that could work. Aggressive, fearful, and needy. Those are the same traits that Tulip has, so I'm already kind of acquainted with those traits. I don't want a defiant horse. All right, you know what? We're gonna get Rascal. Let's go. Oh, I think I'm gonna change the name. We'll call this one Pumpkin. So I'm guessing Pumpkin has, yeah, no skills whatsoever. So you know what, Pumpkin? I'm gonna start off by maybe trying to win her trust, you know, try and become friends. She seems to, she seems to quite like us. We've got two girls as well, so I can get Pumpkin knocked up, but before I do that, I'm gonna send Pumpkin just to get some basic training. I might try and get her to get her level two for all of the skills. Just so, you know, we're starting off somewhere. All right, sweet. My horses have gone training. I might just head home see what the state of the garden is like. Oh, and pay those bills. Okay, pay bills, 423 simoleons. What can I do? I can harvest some prairie grass and see if I find anything interesting in there. I can weed these, water all. I only need one more skill point actually, and then I can, then I can buy summer, like seasonal plants. Okay, Tulip is back. I might send Tulip to horse training to do jumping. Trying to invest my time wisely here. Did you not find anything when harvesting the prairie grass? I guess not. Do I have any, well at least I have grapes that I can harvest, so there's that, that's something. And I found a black bean, that worth anything? Two simoleons, hardly seems worth it. I may as well just plant it. Oh, pumpkin is back from training, okay pumpkin. That hardly did anything. Ugh. Well, I'll send her to a few different classes. Let's send her to agility. At least we can make a few bottles of nectar now. And this time, regardless of what quality they come out, I'm just gonna stick them in my, my wine rack. Cause maybe they will be worth more if I just age them a little bit. Can I plant this? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna plant that black, ble that black bean. Water, and then craft nectar. Let's see if we can just queue up three in a row. Oh, she didn't water those plants, why not? I guess these all need watering as well, do they? Yeah, okay, fine. Pumpkin is back, and Tulip is back. Okay, great, great. Well, you guys are sisters now, so maybe try and get to know each other. Maybe once I finish my endless list of nectar making and gardening, maybe I'll try and encourage them to befriend each other. Nearly increased my nectar making skill. What would, the, what would that put us at, level two? Yeah, we're only nectar making level one. Another poor quality bottle. Okay, I'm gonna try and encourage Tulip because I've got a good relationship with Tulip. Encourage to socialize with Pumpkin. That's your, that's your new baby sister, so try and, try and be nice, you know? Make her feel welcome. Okay, these are starting to grow again. 
Get the trees watered, that's right. Okay, I think she's gonna go socialize now. And I still have some more grapes left, so I can still craft a couple of bottles of nectar. And hopefully we can maybe get better than just poor quality. Poor quality horse manure as well. What the fuck, I've been feeding her? Feeding her every day. Poor quality. Why is she embarrassed? Oh, bladder blunder from remembering that time she pissed herself. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. Get yourself some lunch. And uh, we'll store some of this wine in the wine rack. Put some more of these trophies up. Remember everything we've accomplished? Okay, now I'm thinking I'm just gonna take a little walk, little pop down to the equestrian center because I wanna see what the requirements are for Tulip to do an intermediate competition. And I might just send Pumpkin to get training again and again until she meets the requirements for, like, beginner competition. Oh, it's closed. Oh, for fuck's sake. After Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm pretty sure it's, like, level five. So let's just take a look at Tulip's skills. Ah, oh, she's doing okay. So she could, she could get her endurance and her agility today. What about Pumpkin? Pumpkin hasn't even acquired endurance, so I might send her for endurance training. Okay, well let's mount Tulip and we will do, maybe we'll do a intense ride just to get her over to endurance level four. There we go. Okay, endurance level four, perfect. And agility, she was also close to level four as well. So let's also do agility. And then maybe, just maybe, maybe I can just direct Pumpkin. Practice basic jumps, Pumpkin. Go practice some jumps while I go take a dump. Come on, Pumpkin, follow, follow. Okay, she's going, great. And then direct horse to practice barrels, tulip, and then we're gonna go use the bathroom. Don't want you pissing yourself and being traumatized again. Okay, cool, both my horses practicing their skills. Oh, what a sight to behold. Oh, I think tulip's had enough. Okay, I'm gonna come mount tulip and then, and then we'll practice barrels until she gets to level four. And then I think we all deserve a good night's sleep. Intensely train. Jumping level two, pumpkin, good for you. Oh, this is amazing. I have been blessed with such great horses and they were so cheap as well. Okay, I think probably though it's time for bed. So how about you dismount, go to sleep, and then let the horses sleep too. Night ladies, enjoy your slumber. Okay, you know the drill. Quick meal, bit of cereal, quick shower. And today we're gonna take both the girls to the equestrian center. I don't think Pumpkin is quite ready to Pumpkin. win anything, but you know, I want her to at least take part. So maybe we'll take her to do one of the beginner competitions. She might not even place, but that's an investment I am willing to make. Oh, fucking hell, the sink is broken. Maybe we'll repair it when we get back because we don't really have too much else to do. We'll take Tulip, we'll take Pumpkin. Okay, enter competition. So endurance we could do quite well on because we're only one point off. Show jumping, we're two points off and then we're two points off Western Pleasure. So I think it's gonna have to be endurance. Good luck, Tulip, rooting for you. Oh, well done. Oh, awesome, we placed, we got bronze. So we earned 500 simoleons, so we've doubled our money. And we'll also, let's see, which one is Pumpkin better off doing? Okay, I think her best bet is going to be this one. She might not even place, but you know what? Let's just get her used to the competition environment and see how she gets on. I'll be amazed if she actually places somewhere because she's like, we only got her yesterday. <gasps> oh, wow, she got first place. She made even more money than Tulip did. Aw, well done, Pumpkin. You deserve a hug. All right, let's take these ladies home because I... I I want to just send them for training and then try and invest some more time in nectar making. I really want to build my nectar making skill because I feel like that will be a big payoff in the weeks to come, you know? If I can just make the batches, let them age, then there will come a day next week, next sim week, that I'll be able to bring in like several, several grand. So let's see, Tulip is at level four for everything except agility and temperament. So I think I'm gonna send her for agility. Oh wait, no, I meant jumping. We're gonna send her for jumping. And then for pumpkin, we'll send pumpkin for temperament. 
Okay, great, great. And I should have a load of grapes to harvest now. I'm trying to get as much experience making just grape nectar for now because it doesn't really matter. I'm not really like losing much money if I'm using my own produce. But by the time I buy like more expensive ingredients like strawberries and potatoes, I'd rather be at a higher nectar making skill level. So there's more chance of it being worth it, you know, because then we'll actually make a decent bottle of wine. How many grapes do I have? 16. Okay, very nice. We'll put Tulip's Award on the wall, and obviously it goes without saying, Pumpkin's Award needs some recognition too. Her award can go up on the wall as well. Pumpkin's back. I think Pumpkin's off to another one. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. How's that bottle? Okay, we've gone from poor to normal. That's something. That's something at least. Okay, I really want Tulip... I really want Tulip to get good at um, jumping. I want her that three to become a four and temperament as well because then I think she'd stand a good chance at the intermediate show jumping. Okay, well we still have plenty of grapes for even more bottles and I think all three of the ones we've already made are all normal quality. Oh shit, I forgot I've got to repair that sink. Okay, let's just stick these in here. Let's try and get that wine cellar. Let's try and get that wine rack full. Okay, I think we need to clean this nectar maker. It's looking a bit of a state. Oh, finally I can evolve these plants. Okay, great, great. I think most of them are ready for evolution. All of my bell peppers have increased in quality. Oh, right, okay, let me queue up a few things. So you need to weed some of these plants. We also need to repair that sink. And then I'm gonna queue up crafting, let's say another three bottles of nectar. So we're making bottle number three now, I think. So we do have enough. We have enough grapes to make another bottle of nectar. Are we only on level two? Still only on level two after making like eight bottles of the stuff. Really? Although we should probably have a shower because I feel like that's gonna impact the state of, uh, impact the quality of these bottles. Yeah, I know, pretty gross, huh? I think we've got space in that wine rack. We've got six more spaces. Maybe scavenge for parts, just to see if there's anything of value in there. Level two of the cooking skill. We can sell those upgrade parts. And then maybe just get some sleep. I think you deserve a little bit of rest now. Oh, we're not far away from autumn. Maybe once I get my gardening skill, I should invest in getting a load of autumn plants. I think that would come in pretty handy. All right, let's head to the equestrian center and see how we get on with a few more competitions. And then I think I'm going to do some more nectar making because I really want to fill up that wine rack. Um, enter competition, okay. Oh, hang on, Tulip is... My horses are sad, I better cheer them up. Let's, first of all, let's go cheer up Tulip because she's doing the first competition. Let's see if we can get her in a better mood. Don't be so hostile. You know, you know me, we're best friends. Okay, Tulip is in a good mood. We could try intermediate show jumping. I mean, we're two skills off. What about this one? Oh, same situation, two skills off. All right, let's just do west, oh wait, no, we'll just, we'll go down in a straight line. So let's do show jumping. And then hopefully by the time we come back, Pumpkin will have cheered up. Oh, we got silver. Great, great. Enter competition. So let's see, what could Pumpkin, oh, Pumpkin's still in a bad mood. Hang on, let me just see if I can cheer her up now. Oh, temperament level two, okay, that's handy. Let's see, let's see if we can do any competitions. This one might be a bit too ambitious. What about this one? We're only one skill point off. Let's try show jumping. Oh, she got something. She, she got a bronze medal. Oh, all right then, ladies, ladettes, let's head home. And I'm gonna try and fill up that, that wine rack. Oh, but before I do that, I'm gonna harvest this prairie grass and see if there's anything hidden in there before my horses eat it all. Normal quality horse manure, okay. Nothing that exciting then. Well, at least I can harvest all my bell peppers, work on my gardening skill a little bit here, weed these plants. There we go. How many bell peppers do I have? 56. Well, that's an extra 200 simoleons. I'm not going to complain. Loads of fresh grapes for me. I can harvest all of those. Does this need cleaning? Yeah, okay, it needs cleaning. And then we'll make several bottles of that. Look at that, 22 lots of grapes. I'm not going to need any more than this. Yeah, I think my little baby vineyard over here, perfectly fine for me. I can't see myself needing more than eight bushes worth of grapes. 
What I do need to do, though, is increase my gardening skill so I can finally plant things like potatoes and strawberries so I don't have to buy them from this machine. Oh, another poor quality bottle. Oh, come on. I wonder if it's because she's in a bad mood. Okay, fine, fine. Have a quick meal, get some crackers, because I think that other bottle is poor as well. Let's just try and sort out your needs and then hopefully we can get some better quality wine going. Do not slam that fridge door. Okay, I have just queued up for her to make five bottles of nectar. And you know what I might also do? I might queue up a few training sessions before they close. So Tulip, let's get you working on temperament and jumping. And then Pumpkin, let's get you working on endurance and agility. Temperament level four, okay, perfect. Oh, Tulip is doing so well. She's worth 2,425 simoleons. I'm sure she's like increased her value by another thousand in just this episode. Nectar making level three. Okay, perfect. So now I can make prairie grass nectar, which is another thing I have constant supply of. And I think also I can finally fill up my wine rack now. Yep, it's full, and I still have three bottles left in my inventory. I'm running out of room for all these plaques. Okay, well, I'm going to send you to bed. I think I've done about as much as I want to do for this episode. I feel like this is going to be really slow moving, you know? I kind of said that at the beginning of this Let's Play, but we're not rushing. We're taking our time, gradually improving, increasing our horses' skills, increasing our skills. But we're in a good place. I think. So on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.